that is on recording. OK, so can you just tell me your name and the A-levels you studied when you were at City and Islington Sixth Form College? So my name is Olivia and I studied politics, psychology and sociology. OK, describe your normal study routine. Um, my normal study routine, I first started with doing all my homeworks that I have due. I tried to do them usually like on the day that they were set just to avoid, you know, lots of deadlines at the same time. Um, then I made like um, a revision timetable and I put down all my, um, you know, my part time work and my leisure time and then um, the spaces that I want to study in to make up my five hours of study per subject. Okay. So leading on from that, how have you balanced college work and your other commitments? Um, it was a little bit hard at first to balance everything, but I feel like when you make a study timetable and make it a bit more flexible to suit you, it becomes a bit easier as the time goes on. Yeah. Okay. And how, um, describe how you revised. So I revised, um, at first, I didn't really know how to revise at first. So I tried a couple of different things like study groups that didn't really work for me. I personally prefer to like revise on my own. Um, making a revision timetable definitely helped me to um, stay focused and also I made it a bit more concise so like instead of being overwhelmed by like a massive chapter I made it a bit more like in detail so yeah that really helped. Okay have you ever struggled to motivate yourself and what does motivate you to work hard? Um, definitely I feel like the thing that motivated me the most is like the different um, in class assessments and like mock exams, I really wanted to like push myself and do well in these. So I can see that like improvement in my grades. So because I want to go to university and that also motivated me. Okay. Um, did you make use of feedback from your teachers? Oh, that was definitely useful. Um, it's just kind of one on one time with your teacher and you really get to know like what you need to work on and then you try and improve for like the next feedback. Okay so can you give maybe an example of that then give an example of the feedback you had? Um, for example I needed to work on like my essay structures I feel like I was really um, I didn't really know how to like word things or like I made it way too lengthy when it shouldn't have been and my teacher sat me down said to me um, this is how like there's like an example essay try to make things a bit more concise and straight to the point, and then I improved from there on. Okay. How did you organise your work to get everything done and prioritise effectively? Um, I brought like a mini whiteboard from like Amazon or something. It was really cheap, but um, I kind of wrote down all my homeworks and it was kind of like, um, it was kind of like satisfying in a way to like rub the things off where you've done them and kind of see like the whiteboard clear up throughout the week. So that means that like I had all the things I had to do like there in front of me and I could see what I needed to do and like, you know, um, adapt to that. Okay, good. Um, what extracurricular activities did you take part in when you were at college and what did you think you gained from them? Um, in the first year, I mostly did things like swimming. Um, uh, what else did I do? I did a really cool opportunity with like... Um, this campaign called Save Our NHS and I wrote for the Islington Gazette and that gave me a lot of um, like insight into like pressure groups because I'm really into politics and I hope to study at university as well so that gave me insight. Okay good. Um, can you explain how the careers team helped you during your time at college? Um, I mean Ben really helped me um, pick in what university I wanted to do, wanted to go to sorry and the kind of subjects and also my personal statement, I needed help. I did my CV actually, when I was looking for a part-time job at college. Okay, and what's your plans now then, now that you've finished college or just waiting on your summer results? Um, I'll be hopefully going to Loughborough University to do politics and international relations in September. Brilliant. Okay, and last question, Olivia, have you got any further top tips for our new kind of A-level year 12 students, you know, basically, how to be a successful um, A-level student. What final top tips would you say? 
Um, well, my biggest top tip, I'd say to enjoy the two years as it does really fly by really quickly. But also stay organized. That's my like biggest, biggest advice. Stay organized from the beginning. Buy yourself a planner. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Just get organized. Write down all your homeworks, everything that you want to work on. Any extracurriculars, write them all down. Also, get yourself folders. Um, you don't really want to leave anything last minute at the end of the year when you have to like revise for mocks, look at universities, that kind of thing. So just stay organized and it will kind of maintain your motivation as well. Brilliant. OK, so I'm just going to stop the recording now. Stop recording.